Hey guys, what's up? So I'm just uploading a vlog tonight. Um, or early in the morning. It's like, it's 12.43. Um, sorry I haven't been getting the vlogs up, but I've uh, been a little behind schedule. Something went wrong with the flip share yesterday. I didn't get the vlog uploaded. But, uh, I will be getting them uploaded from now. But, uh, it's going to be a cool 4th of July vlog, too. Because me and my fiance, me and my fiance, oh crap, I've screwed up the wink. Me and my fiance are going down to Portland for the, for the 4th of July. So that ought to be Hi, fun. guys. So it's yours truly back on the road. Uh, after, uh, a couple days after my horrific bicycle accident. I actually didn't <laughs> tell you guys about that. Hang on real quick, let me finish okay, this right now. now that the red light is gone, now I can tell you. So, the other day, yours truly was just biking. Uh, I was actually just biking down Pacific Avenue. And without looking or without even, you know, even trying to even see me, some woman actually hit me on my bicycle. And you can't really tell, but the front tire was repaired. It got bent pretty good. Hey, do a trick on YouTube, dude. doesn't want to be on YouTube right now. Um, so anyway, but yeah, so she, I mean, she literally felt horrible about hitting me, um, you know, which is natural. I mean, she should feel bad, but I mean, it wasn't really her fault. I mean, it could have happened to anybody, but uh, her insurance are just going to cover a new bicycle because this one's actually pretty banged up, so it, it has to be replaced. So $150 is just going to be put tomorrow, in. Tomorrow, guys, tomorrow, tomorrow night, um, I might go. I'm not sure. I um, was talking with the fiance, or I messaged her on Facebook, asking if she wanted to go to the Mariners game tomorrow. Because tomorrow is King Felix's night. And you all know how, uh, <laughs> if you are Mariners fans who watch this, you know how... Uh, the King's Court is that Felix has his own <laughs> section, and it cracks me up because I'm trying to figure out who actually thought of that. that they're very; it was a very clever idea. <laughs> and the best dress gets a turkey leg. I think that is probably one of the most clever, one of the most clever things that the Mariners have done. Think of one other, one other. Hi. <laughs> Some random guy, I don't know. Um, I can think of one other, like, really smart thing the Mariners did for this year, and that was they brought the 1995 green jerseys back. The most awesomest jerseys in the world, and they brought them back. I think, and I think they, and the fans love them, and I think, and I think they're gonna stick around for a good long time. And I, hope I just got back, here. so I just got here at the library. Okay, so uh, continue on, continuing on my discussion. Like I said, the green jerseys are probably the best promotional thing that the Mariners have done all season long. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow I'm probably going to be at the game. I might be at the game. I'm not sure. Uh, it all depends. Um, oh, barring Marmaduke. Haven't seen that one. I actually wanted to see that one. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, so, if you guys do follow me on Twitter and... And if you guys actually do watch my vlogs and you actually are a Mariner fan, look for me at the game. I'll be wearing a um, the Mariners teal green jersey. It's, it'll be a Ken Griffey Jr. jersey. The teal Ken Griffey Jr. jersey. Uh, Mariners hat, almost uh, the Cooperstown Seattle Mariners hat with the teal bill and everything. And just, you know, jeans and stuff. But look for me, guys. I'll be there. But, uh... I forgot what okay, I was going to say. So, here's what's happening right now. I am like pedaling as fast as I can to make the deadline for the Mariners game. So, I do not want to miss our rookie sensation and all star Michael Pineda um, out dueling the Braves. Eric Bedard got rocked last night. If it, wasn't for the, it wasn't, if it wasn't for the home runs, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the Mariners would have won, but Mariners need to hire a new hitting coach or something. Because we're crying out loud, we need hits! And Ben Sean Viggins! I mean, I'm not hating on the guy. I'm not hating on Sean Viggins. I mean, Viggins is a good...
good player, but place Kennedy for Figgins for the rest of the season because, I mean, for one thing, Figgins is hitting below 180! Do you really want, and he's, and he is averaging an error a game! <laughs> if I was the manager, I would seriously consider releasing him. And I, and the rumors are that the Mariners are trying to trade some prospects for Jose Reyes. Get Jose Reyes because Figgins is not working out! And I just spat on my glasses. It's unbelievable. How the heck can I spit on my glasses? Oh well. But, like I said, bench Figgins. I mean, for one thing, I mean, the guy was hitting like crazy when he was in Anaheim, and suddenly he comes to this ball club. I mean, last year, don't get me wrong, he uh, actually did pretty good. He only hit 15... He only hit 15 points below 300 last year. I mean, that's not a bad, uh, you know, average, 285 average. That's not too bad. But, I mean, come on. The Tigers are have more hits than we do, and they are way, way below 500. I think they're 15 games below 500. And, I mean, they have 250 more hits than we do. Why must the Mariners be tormented like this? I mean, I tell you this. Now, Justin Smoke, okay? He was an excellent, excellent acquisition for this team. I mean, ever since, but and when he came off the Brewer bereavement list, I believe that's what Yeah, the bereavement list. When he came off, he was literally on fire. I mean, the guy was hitting I mean, he was just hitting home runs left and right, and suddenly, I don't understand what's happened to this guy, but he's just cooled down. And then, the hitting coach needs to talk to Carlos Piguero, okay? The kid has got potential. Don't get me wrong, this kid has got some potential, but I've seen the way he swings. He takes his eye off the ball. That's why he strikes out so many times. I mean, if you're going to go like this, if you're going to look at the ball while you hit it, which I have learned over the years that I have played baseball, if you see the ball, hit the ball. See the ball, hit the ball. What he does, he's, he's like, he's like, he's like, oh shit, I missed it. Well, how can you, well, how can you hit it if you don't look at it? Hi, you're on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, I just keep doing that to random people. I keep putting them on YouTube. Anyway, like I was saying, so the hitting coach really does need to talk to Carlos Piguero. I'm actually thinking of talking to him tomorrow night. I mean, he might tell me to fuck off, but he, if he does not keep his eye on the ball, he will not live up to his full potential. Because if he keeps his eye on the ball when he hits, and if he just doesn't, you know, I mean, he swings like, you know, he puts like 12,000% into his swing. If he would just put, you know, a good, you know, just 75 to 80% of his swing into it, he'd probably be getting hit. But, I mean, that's just me. And then Miguel Olivo, a hitting coach needs to talk to him about going after those low pitches and those high pitches because I've seen him. I mean, he goes after some bad balls and Ichiro, don't get me wrong, Ichiro is starting to heat up, but he is just, he's just going after crappy balls. I mean, literally, he just, he just goes after crappy balls. And Brendan Ryan, oh my god. I mean, Brendan Ryan was hot during the Padres series, and for that week he was hot, but now he's just cooled down. Bottom line, Mariners hitting coach needs to either be fired or talk to his players. Anyway, I'm here and I think I made the deadline.